Hello, I'm Joe Muscolino, and I'm going to be showing you palpation of the piriformis muscle. To palpate the piriformis muscle, it's helpful first to locate a few bony landmarks. The bony landmarks that will be important will be the posterior superior iliac spine, the PSIS, the apex of the sacrum, and the greater trochanter of the femur. To find these landmarks, it's helpful to place your hands on the client like this, and usually the thumbs naturally land on the PSISs. Here is her right PSIS. To find the apex of the sacrum, begin midline on the sacrum and just drop inferiorly until you feel the joint line between the sacrum and the coccyx. I now have the PSIS and the apex of the sacrum. And to find the greater trochanter, palpate dead center laterally until you feel the bony protuberance of the greater trochanter of the femur. I should also add that normally you would palpate this standing on the same side, but for the sake of the video here so I don't block the palpation, I'll be standing on the other side of the client. Okay, so the first thing I do, I find her right PSIS, I find the apex of the sacrum. I go exactly halfway between those two points. I then drop laterally until I'm off the sacrum. This is important because the piriformis muscle attaches from the anterior surface of the sacrum going to the greater trochanter. If I'm still on top of the sacrum, I'll still be on top of the bone. I won't be able to palpate the actual muscle itself. Once I find this point just off the sacrum, I draw a line from there to the greater trochanter, and the piriformis will be located directly here. To palpate this muscle when it's relaxed, I would want to strum perpendicularly across it. This muscle is deep to the gluteus maximus. It may or may not be easy to feel when you're palpating it without it being engaged. If the gluteus maximus is tight, it would be difficult to palpate it and feel it. If the piriformis is loose, it might be difficult to palpate and discern it deep to the gluteus maximus. To engage the piriformis to make it easier to feel, we need to have the client do the action that the piriformis does, which is lateral rotation of the thigh at the hip joint. I am going to have her flex her knee joint to 90 degrees. I'll support her here. Lateral rotation is based on the anterior surface moving laterally. That entails the leg, the lower leg, and the foot moving medially. So I'm going to ask you in just a moment to press against me in this direction. I'll have pressure against you right here. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. So just gently press against me. That's good. Relax there. That's all you'll need to do. Even a little less. Try it again. Perfect. Relax. It's important that her engagement is not too strong because the gluteus maximus is also a lateral rotator. And if she were to contract hard against me with resistance here, then the gluteus maximus would, en would engage, and that would block my ability to palpate through it for the piriformis. Okay, so to show this in steps now, I find the right PSIS, I find the apex of the sacrum, I go exactly halfway between, I drop laterally off the sacrum, I draw a line from there to the greater trochanter, and this is where I'm going to be palpating. I'll do it this way so I don't block your view. Come on up here, and now gently press against me, and there's the contraction, relax. I'll move just a baby step along the line, press against me again, a little harder. Ah, there it is, relax, and I can strum perpendicularly across it, press again, there it is, good, relax. I'll go another baby step, press against me, there's the engagement, relax, I'll go another baby step, press against me, and there's the engagement of the muscle. Relax. And I would continue this all the way over to the greater trochanter. That's palpation of the piriformis muscle. I'm Joe Muscolino.